What is up, everybody? It's your first TV today, and we're going to talk about Xbox asking developers on why they prefer to work on other platforms such as PlayStation over the Xbox ecosystem. And this is actually like some technical research being done. Like you can give a survey. Um, you got to be a U.S. resident and a game developer in the U.S. So they're trying to get some real honest feedback on what's going on here. Like why do people, why do some developers lack the um, that pri lack the priority of, of developing on Xbox? Uh, looking for direct feedback for developers about game tools, pain points, and more, etc. So all the technical details about this. So it didn't take long for Sony fanboys to find this right here. And they just have to push their anti-Xbox BS. It's like, we get it, you don't like Xbox, but just the most ridiculous comments you can imagine they are putting on here, and it's just insane. But we're going to read some of these dumb comments. <laughs> these Sony fanboys have literally invaded this thread. It's like, you would think it's just supposed to be for developers to give their insight, but no, Sony fanboys have to, get, they have to chime in because they can take... Have the, they just have to take a swipe at anything that's negative but Xbox just have to take a swipe let's see if people gotta say about this because Xbox is too busy reminding people that they don't need to buy an Xbox and people are listening that is one gripe I do have with Xbox they're going they got two different directions they're trying to go for one they're trying to tell people that they don't need an Xbox you can just stream your games on the um, fire stick or whatever you don't need to buy a console that's the new initiative they did this generation to promote their stuff on Amazon Fire Stick. Which, I mean, I don't know if that's a negative so far. It's the only time we'll tell that's going to be a negative for the Xbox and, as a whole. But also, one big negative I find is that they're putting their games on PlayStation, which I'm not a fan of. I don't think that should be, I don't think that's the right move. You know, they are older games. I don't think they should be putting their, the value of their brand putting their stuff on PlayStation. That's their biggest competition. So, um, So that is one notion right there. Clowns are going to say the Xbox Series S. They said that a lot in this thread. I'm not surprised. It was like, how the how is the Xbox Series S just so, you know, it's just so damaging for the gaming industry. Meanwhile, these same developers will develop for the Nintendo Switch, which is a lot weaker than Xbox Series S. And I'm pretty sure the Xbox Series S is going to sell more than the PS5 Pro. So if the Xbox Series S is an issue, then wouldn't the PS5 Pro be an issue as well? Because less people are going to have the PS5 Pro than the Series S. So I say to debunk Sony fanboy talking points because it just makes no sense. That most of the developers who were complaining about the Series S were making indie games. Like I believe it was an Iron Fish developer who was complaining about the Series S. And it's like, really? You're making indie looking games like running a Nintendo Switch, but you're complaining about the Series S. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, no, that's not what they said. They're asking devs individual changes needed in API. It's hard to do when one console holds back the base level for framework. Thank goodness for the PS5 Pro, while CPU's focus is more in line for GPU first. This sounds more like a developer answer, so I'm going to go with that. So, at least some developers are actually chiming in because, I, from what I saw, it was mostly the Sony fanboys chiming in. <laughs> the same most dumbest stuff possible. Like this like this genius right here who says, Game Pass, Series S being a third class citizen, the second class citizen on Series X, or so the first class citizen, oil chic of PC, while somehow holding back the entire platform. <laughs> the Series S is holding back the entire platform. But, you know, the Nintendo Switch is just fine, right? The same developers, they have no problem making games for Nintendo Switch. You want us to believe that nonsense. Okay. Um, okay, people are saying this is the reason why, once again, their initiative pushed games on Fire Stick. Then this guy says, maybe because PlayStation is just better. Is it really? Didn't they just have a $200 million flop with Concord? But you said it's better. <laughs> They had a showcase which most people were disappointed by, other than one game that was shown. But you know, it's just better. That's just leave it as that. It's just better. <laughs> you know, they keep showing you the the tenth iteration of Horizon Zero Dawn, whether it be a remaster, a Lego version, a TV show. They keep giving you the same stuff over and over, but it's just better. Okay. 
PlayStation has a larger player base and PlayStation systems architecture is easier to develop for than Xbox. I would get that. I would understand that more. Maybe because it has a larger player base. That sounds like more of a developer answer. These other answers saying it's like either the Series S or Game Pass. It's just stupid. <laughs> These comments are just so dumb. The day Xbox drops PC and starts focusing on their platform, that's when people will start going out and buying an Xbox console, myself included. Should they drop the PC thing? I don't think they should. Um, I don't. I think they should just stop dropping games on PlayStation, that's for sure. But the PC, I don't see the PC as a competition, to be honest. Um, start out investigating. PS5 outselling Xbox 3-1. Where is that proven? It's also on three to one. We know two to one, sure, but three to one? That sounds like some BS right there. <laughs> some Sony <laughs> fanboy BS. Like, where is the proof it's also on three to one? So that means it's either 90 or 100 million PS5s out there, which I don't believe compared to Xbox's 30 million. Uh, that doesn't sound real at all. They put their exclusives on Switch and PS5, two consoles that already have games that never make it to Xbox. And they actually have marketing that says no console required, so literally zero reasons to buy an Xbox. So no one, so no one does, and devs won't waste resources important to it. I kind of think that's the bigger issue. Them being like, hey, buy our console, then also don't buy our console. Two different conflicting messages right there. Uh, bigger player base series us cost developers more time and resources away from the more powerful consoles. Once again, is that same narrative that is going to take more resources? Is it the same narrative we put toward the PS5 Pro? I don't think these geniuses are going to put that same narrative towards that because one is PlayStation, one is Xbox. Because Series S is going to sell a lot more than the PS5 Pro, but you know, they're going to, developers are going to have to put their time and resources to develop for the PS5 Pro as well. So. <laughs> I like this comment right here. We need a few more Twitter influencers to weigh in on this question that wasn't directed at them. That is this whole thread right here because it was strictly dire dire directed for game developers on why you don't develop for Xbox or you divert or why you prioritize PlayStation over Xbox. And then you just have PlayStation fanboys just invade the entire thread. <laughs> Not hard, is it? It sells. I mean, that's pretty straightforward because of the series s and game pass what does game pass have to do with anything it doesn't make any sense but these but sony fans are butthurt because they don't have game pass on their playstation they wish they do but they don't so they're going to be perpetually butthurt about it in each thread they should start by getting rid of day and date on Game Pass and then move on to qualify of games release. What does day and date on Game Pass have to do with developers prioritizing PlayStation or Xbox? What does it do anything? <laughs> that makes no sense. Because Xbox trained its users to wait for it to hit Game Pass. What are you talking about? Each time a brand new game releases, that's a big triple a game that people are looking forward to it sells very well on xbox as lily you can look at you can look at the most sold games tab on xbox and see that these big games sell on xbox but what are you talking about like the people just don't buy games on xbox that narrative is so dumb because we can literally see the proof that people do buy those big games on xbox so because of the series us devs also make less money off game pass once again Devs get offered a deal to put their games on Game Pass or not. A lot of devs don't put their games on Game Pass. And their game's still on Xbox. So why are we still having this discussion? So many fanboys is just delusional. They taught their users not to buy games. So let me get this straight. So because you have the option to get certain games, not even all games cheaper, or get them in a rental service, you just don't buy games anymore? This is the narrative these Sony fans just keep saying. So, if you go to the grocery store and they have a sell on video games, you have the sell on, not even video games, but a sell on a product, you get a lot cheaper. Do you just not buy other products as well unless it's on sale too? Like, that's the logic they're using. Like, it's so stupid. If anything, if you're getting stuff on Game Pass, you're probably going to buy more games because you have more income. <laughs> they don't think of it that way, apparently. <laughs> 
because it's just a better overall console playstation has always also xbox every generation so that makes it better because it sells more pretty sure that's not how that works uh because people just don't buy games on xbox we are they train they're trained not to you know they keep putting this comment out there it's kind of like they're trained to keep putting this comment right there <laughs> Xbox also requires games, must also run on Potato Series S. Yes. Definitely a developer comment right there, not just a Sony fanboy. <laughs> a small developer cannot afford to port to each platform. If they choose not to develop for Xbox, it's because of three platforms. It's the one with the smallest install base. Okay. Reason the games just don't sell on Xbox. I mean 30 million users on Xbox but they just don't sell okay and that's why Sony is money hadn't certain companies certain studios to keep their games off Xbox that makes a lot of sense if they just don't sell on Xbox why would Sony why would Sony pay money to keep those games off Xbox then I can think of four reasons PlayStation has the most potential to sell with the most customers. PlayStation prides themselves on being the easiest platform to develop for. Game struggle. I would I would honestly think it's probably something like that. Like it's probably easier to develop games on PlayStation than Xbox. I think that's probably the more more obvious reason that there is a reason why that prioritizing the PlayStation over Xbox. Game struggle on Xbox unless on Game Pass, which equals no sales and lump sum. What do you mean the struggle on Xbox? Like, it, it, these people act like games just don't flop or fell on PlayStation. Like, what are we talking about here? <laughs> these people act like it's completely oblivious to games just completely fell in on PlayStation. That's not even on Xbox. Like, okay. These people are so delusional. Because PS5 is outselling 3 to 1. Where is a, any proof that it's outselling 3 to 1? I don't think that's, uh, that's not true, but they keep posting it like it is true. And because it's easier to work with, it happened with Xbox 60 as well. PS3 was being ignored. Not really rocket science, more players on PS5. So at the end of the day, uh, I do think that this 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 research is going to be useful. The survey is going to be useful. But we just see so many fanboys just chiming in like, <laughs> like they know anything of what they're talking about. So... I'm going to conclude it right here. It's just a thread full of Sony fanboys just saying the most dumbest crap possible. They aren't, they aren't, they aren't licensed to make games. So I don't know why anybody want to hear their pan, but they just have the chime man to complain about Xbox <laughs> any chance they get because they have nothing to do on a PlayStation right now. It's like nothing's going on right now with the PlayStation. So at least Xbox just released a big expansion pack while PlayStation, you're just playing third party games right now. So. It is what it is, but I'm going to conclude it right here. Go for and see your thoughts down below. Leave a like, like this video, and as always, thanks for watching, and peace.